So we take that there. That lick that we had before the, the boom, boom, boom. Right, that one there. <clears throat> so it's exactly the same finger shape. It's all about the index and the middle there. But what we do is we take that up to the seventh and the eighth fret. So just to show you there, seven. Now the reason that is, is because there's the E minor chord, but there's the E major chord. So what we're doing here is, it's this interplay between this note here. So we bend that up and you can hear it's trying to get to be a major chord. Now I can finish that off there. If you remember, this is the second figure on that sheet. And that is a nice handy little shape. I'll bring that in a little bit closer. That's a nice handy little shape for a minor chord. There's the major. So hopefully you can see what's going on there. Right, okay, so that's that first shape. Now the next one that we had, look at my double dots here. You can see those, so you've got to use those dots, especially when you're using this this one here. It's easy to, to get lost, if, but so use those dots, that there. You can see the first finger's on the seventh, the third finger's on the ninth there. Well, we're going to do this, and what I th thought was easier for you, it seemed to be, is if we take that finger out of the equation, we extend that up there. So we're only going to extend that up once we hit up here. So watch, as I go up, I widen that stretch between those two fingers. Yeah. The reason this works is because this is the fifth of the chord. This is the root. And that's the flat seven. So this is a bluesy. It's an E7 chord. So you can hear. And yes, we discovered this as well, didn't we? We'd get a lovely little turnaround there. If you remember when we went upwards, it sounded a bit more country. I'll just move that there. So you can see I can chain these. <laughs> That's a bit of fun, but... The thing is, that's that exact same shape. That's the third chord diagram on that sheet. Move it down one fret, move it down one fret, and then switch to that original shape, which was just up, resides on two frets. This shape has a three uh, fret uh, span, yeah? Mix that in with that. You can hear it's the same. Just an octave higher. So have fun with that one.